Hi and welcome to JavaNet being of Employee Database Management System. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to enter this employee details in there and let's say the NI is that. And right here the name. So the name is Okay, before we go into Java Admin, just to prove to you that everything is saved inside the database, all of this information are saved inside SQL browser. We can always go straight to the browser. Let's open, locate wherever the or wherever the file is. That's it right there. Click, and that is the database. Open up the database. There we go. Now select it and let's browse there and that's Stanley right there okay so you will also need this SQL browser and some other components so let's go straight into Java net beam and we put one of these together and welcome to Java net beam now I'm going to start by clicking on file select new project and there select Java application click on next give your project a name so I'm gonna call that let's say employee or employer database right and I'm going to uncheck that let's copy that employer database click on finish now right up there the employer database is ready so the next thing i would like to do is click on employer database right there just right click on it and let's select new and i'm going to select jframe now let, let's give it a name it's called employer database as well and the package is called employer database now click on finish now that the form is ready, right click on the form, let's select set layout and I'm going to set the layout as absolute layout. The next thing I'm going to do is right click on this, select the properties, select code and right there let's change the size to 1400 by 700 and where we have generate center, check 1400 by 700 come close that is fine the next thing I like to do is go to the palette select label paste that on board back to the palette let's select text field paste that there and now let's select button there we go drop that there and we also need a table that is our table right there click drop somewhere there now for this components these two components in fact all of these components together select it all go straight to the properties and let's increase the font size to something readable so I'm gonna make that bold 24 there that is good enough now select these two them apart a little bit more I'm gonna need eight of those copy paste drag now copy both of those paste and drag again and copy one more time all right now I have eight of those on board and I'm gonna need four of these copy paste 
paste and one more all right so i have those there now the next thing i'm going to do is right click on this and change the data we have in there to employee id there's a p missing id and this is going to be known as let's see what's that Next one is going to be known as Sony. Oh no, NI, NI number. Right, and so on. I'm going to now speed that up and get back to you guys. All right, this is how it looks now. So the next thing I like to do is let's change this as well and change that to add data. variable name is going to be known as jbtn at data and follow by let's change that to print and the variable name will also be known as print jbtn print jbtn print the next one is going to be known as clear Clay data and that will be known as clay data JBT and clay data. And finally, we have exit. Variable name is exit. J B T N exit done now let's come to the table select the table go to the properties and let's look for model click on model let's change that the very first one let's change that to employee employee yeah employee ID now the next one an I number and followed by first name we have surname next we only have four let's make that eight enter eight in here or you can just select insert now bring these two down or that up move up now add two more there now the next one change the next one to gender followed by date of birth and that will be age the next one will be age followed by salary there all done okay that is fine click on ok see the table let's enlarge it that much let's go back to the property and get rid of those columns let's come into model again and change the column instead of four make that zero so we use the system to increment the column that is fine now the next thing I'd like to do is straight is we need to import the following or download the following really first of all you will have to import this driver right here this very dry driver all of these details will be added onto my description area and we also need the SQL browser we need to download and in install that as well once that is installed this is how the SQL browser will look like there right there okay so let's move on okay I will now copy that now paste that here to copy the the driver ok 
okay that should take us straight to where we can copy the SQL SQL light JDBC driver click on that this is the latest 3.23 click on that to download it yeah mine is downloaded already the next thing you need to now do is to if you don't have the browser highlight copy the link I will include this link for you guys and I'm going to open up the link for the browser as well the SQL light browser that is the link of the SQL uh, light browser come right there and install that onto your system now double click on the browser to open it up there we go now click on new database right there to create a new database you want to give your database a name go ahead give it a name look for wherever your file is like I have my inside my document and that is the project file so I'm going to give that a name I'll call it employee or empl yeah, employee that's fine that's the name of my database this name will be used throughout the throughout this tutorial employee click on save if you notice I'm saving employee let let me make that let's put an S to it employees or employee the did the DB okay that's fine click on save there we go now the next thing you want to do is to create the table okay now add a field there we go so the first field is going to be employee ID that's my very first field no space and that will also be my primary key so click on primary key I'm gonna make it text the data type will be text add another field the next one is going to be known as an I number and that will be text as well followed by add another field first name add an another field data type text now the field saw name the next one saw name is missing now oh, come on a saw name and the next one here that will be known as gender Add another field date of birth D O B. Then we add age, and finally, the next one I'm going to call that salary. There, and that is my database created. Let's change all of these two the data type to text the choice is yours just one might to be text that is fine so the database is created I have my primary key selected and just give it a name there employee there we go click on ok remember this name click on ok there the database is created so I can now go straight into my project file right there click on document and right in here and that is my database created for me that's the whole idea now let's go back straight into Java NetBean alright back onto Java NetBean the next thing I'm going to do now I want you guys to pay attention to this I'm now going to copy the driver so let's go to my download area right inside the download that's the driver I've just downloaded remember the the SQL light browser that is installed now that's the SQL SQL light JDBC the driver I'm now going to add the driver straight onto my program here look at my file open it up copy drag drop 
it's right there now I can now close this I don't need that anymore just minimize that okay the next thing we want to do now is to go to the project file itself right there and I need the library that's the library okay right click on the library and let's select add jar folder and let's look for wherever my file is if I go straight in here I can go let's go to the document there we go and where is it there and that's the driver click and click on open there now I have the driver right inside my library there so that's fine now the next step is let's click on services right inside the services make sure your driver is open okay when you look inside the driver I don't have an SQL driver there so I will now right click new I will then browse to wherever I have my driver I have my driver right here if you guys can still remember the name of my database click open okay that is my SQL light driver that's the name click on OK now right underneath there is my driver the next thing I want to do is to now have a connection so let's right click on the database up here select new connection now I'm going to select SQLite okay but I need my database that's my database there select all and show my database okay right there that's my database click on next okay make sure driver name is selected SQL light I'm going to leave out the name and I'm going to leave a password now I need to locate wherever my database is let's go back into where I saved my database that is my database right there and that's the folder right click on that folder select copy address as text now come right here you see where we have file get rid of that and paste what we've just copied add backslash we now need the name of this very file that's the name employ we enter employ right there dot db remember that employ dot db or whatever the name of your file is now click on test connection that is important there we go connection succeeded click on next or you can just click on finish anyway right click on finish now if you look up here that is my connection and I have my database in the house there so that is fine so the next step is for us to start to work with the program so with that I'm gonna call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly